Hello children, this is Saint Florence YouTube channel. I am Manoj sir, your mathematics teacher. I am explaining nowadays matrix. Today I am going to explain matrix, uh, multiplication of matrix. This is very important part and little tricky and difficult in matrix chapter. Others, whatever we have done, that is very easy, easy to understand. But multiplication you have to understand very well. Some rule is there to multiply that also I have to clear you. First I want to explain you. How to multiply matrix? When you can multiply the matrix? First of all, like 2 into 3, easily I can, because what is coming? 6 coming. So 3 into 2, not a problem, that also coming 6. Okay? But this is not applied in matrix. That means, when one matrix is given, A, something is given. Let 1, 2, 3, 4. And B is given, 1, 2, 4, and let 3 and 6. Okay? A is given this one and B is given that one. So if I multiply A and B, something will come, something will come, okay. I multiply B and A, then something will come. Now see, AB not equal to BA. AB not equal to BA in matrix. So if order is given A into B, we have to write A first, B second, then multiply. If it is given B A, then B write first, A write next and then multiply. Order we cannot change and multiply. It is possible only when it is equal matrix. That means if A is given 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, another one I am doing. Here A is given 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is given 1, 2, 3, 4. So these two are equal matrix because having same element in this, here in place of first one, here also one, here two, here two, three, here three, four, four, order also same and, and the number also same, both are equal matrix. So as it is equal matrix, here AB equal to BA is possible, because both will same, the first one is two, uh, whatever is given first one, second one is given same. If both the matrix are equal, then AB equal to BA, I can say. Now to understand, both the matrix are equal. So AB and BA, both are correct. But matrix is different. Matrix is different than AB not equal to BA. AB not equal to BA. I think this point number one is clear to you. Again, I am saying you. If both the matrix are same, then A B multiply or B A multiply. Whatever answer will come, both should come same answer. But if both the matrix are different, then A B and B A is not equal. This first point is clear. Now second point, when I can multiply the matrix. Rule, try to understand, multiplication rule, very important. What is column of first matrix? Column, column, cut correct, right? column, balance, I can't stop. C-O-L-U-M-N-S. Now rule, C-O-L-U-M, column, say that. Column of first matrix equal to row of second matrix. Very important rule. Column of first matrix should be equal to row of second matrix. If this rule is clear, if this rule is clear, multiplication is possible. It is not that both order is same, then addition and subtraction is okay. If both matrix order is not same, but this condition is satisfied, then you can multiply. Here order is not important. Important that these two should be equal. I am giving one example. Let one matrix is A is given. Its order is M N, M into N. One matrix A, what is the order? Let A is given, order is M N. Okay. Clear, Mn given. Another matrix, 
B is given. Its order is N P. The order is not same. Order is not same. Here M N, here N P. So can I multiply this? I have to see column of first matrix. This is row. This is column. So this is the column of first matrix equal to row of second matrix. Here row, here column. So row of second matrix. Both are equal. Tricky one marks also question come in the board. This type on basis of this. So column of first matrix equal to row of second matrix. S yes, both are equal. Then you can multiply it. That means if I multiply these two, let these two multiply, then what will come? Now see these two are equal. These two are equal. So multiplication is possible. And what is the answer? Answer whatever will come. Its row column is these two. M P. This is a very important thing for multiplication. Try to understand once more. First, what I taught you: <coughs> if column of first matrix equal to row of second matrix, then multiplication is possible. In case of addition subtraction, what I taught you: if order of is same for both the matrix, then only addition and subtraction is possible. But here is not that. Here you have to see column of first matrix must be equal to row of second matrix. Then you can multiply like this. So if it is coming, these two should be cancelled, and whatever here, row left and here column left, that will come in the answer. While doing sums again and again, I will say these words. Then easily we can you can understand very well. So I have taught two rule. One A B not equal to B A. If both the matrix is different, if same, then okay. Then A B and B A is same. And second, what I taught while multiplication, we have to check that column of first matrix is equal to row of second matrix. Is it given? If it is given, you can multiply. If it is not given, I will read it directly. I will say it is not possible. Multiplication is not possible. Understand, children? So these two points you should remember while multiplication. Okay. Then we will come for sums. One small example also I am giving you. Let one matrix is given here two, one, four, three. Let A is given and B is given one, two. It is B given. So here two row and two column. Yes, are here two row and one column. So I can multiply these two. S yes, check it. Here what is the column? It is row. It is the column. What is the row? It is the row. These two are equal. Yes, I can multiply this. But on C, I am giving you. I am giving like this. Here, what is one row and two column? AC, I can multiply. Here two, here one. AC is not multiplied because its column and its row is not matching. So AB is possible, but AC not possible. So this way you have to understand why multiplication. So while doing multiplication, always you will discuss these things so that your mind should be clear about this, so that you will not do any mistakes while exam. Okay, children. Then we will come for one another sum. I have, I think I have already explained you the concept of multiplication. Then we will come for the another sum. Now in multiplication, the different way it is given in the book, but I will want to explain a simple process, simple method. How to multiplication? That I explain you. You remember it is easy for you. Let one matrix A is given here. A is given. Tap A, B, and C, D. It is P tech already here. P and another one I am taking Q. What is Q? X, Y, M, N. Just to make it easy, I am doing this. Now, how to multiply P, Q? Here, write A, B, C, D. And here write x, y, m, n. Now, how to multiply? This one you should remember very well. One kind of rule, not give the book, but kind of rule I am giving you. Here, a, b. This is the column. This column multiply with this row. That means x multiply with a, and b multiply with y. This term always I will use while multiplication. So you should remember this. What is a x plus b y. Step one clear. A x plus b y. Then C x 
plus dy. This is the first part. If it is given xy only, then my sum is over. But xy ml also given. Again, in the similar way, ml multiply with this. That means next part, what is am plus bn, cm plus bn. This is kind of rule I have given you. You have to memorize this. Easily you can multiply without seeing the sums. What is? AB given. Here CD given. So AX plus BY. Remember all of you. AX plus BY. XY given the column wise. And then CX plus DY. You have to plus minus do. Something will come. Plus minus do. Something will come. Here also something will come. Here something will come. That is your answer. So this, whatever I explained about the matrix multiplication, three points I explained. First, what I explained, which one you can multiply a b equal to b a when a b not equal to b a when first thing. Second rule, what is the rule I explained you? Column of first matrix order. Column of first matrix equal to row of second matrix. Then multiplication is possible. And third, I explained one sum small I have given you. I have just given a rule type. So that you can remember easily we can do the sums. The next what I will come, I will come for sum. Now see one question I am doing related with multiplication. Already I explained how to multiply, where you can do multiply and multiply rule also I have given you. Now I will do one sum. A is given this, B is given this, find AB. I will also find the BA. Then you have to check AB equal to BA. I think without doing sum you can tell AB equal to BA or not say. A what is given? 2, 5, 1, 3. B is given different. A, B is not same. I, it will come or not. Two, one minute I am giving you. Think. Your answer is yes. Your answer is no. Okay. I am telling you. Match it. Your answer is no. A, B is not equal to B, A. Why? Because these two are different. If these two are same, then it will come equal. So this answer now I can say because concept you know AB is not equal to BA. Now see check. Now A into B. A write down, B write down. A write here 2, here 5, 1, 3 and here write down 1 minus 1 minus 3 and 2. We have to multiply. Here don't do fast. Do slow. Let it is AB and CD. I told in this way AB and CD. What is this? In this way. You have to see in this way and here see in this way. Here A, B, C, D. Here X, Y, M, N. What is the rule? A, X plus B, Y. So this is A, this is X. So 2 into 1. A, X plus B, Y. B is this and this is Y. So 5 minus 3. Whenever minus is given, you give one bracket to avoid confusion. So 5 minus 3. Then Cx means 1 into 1 plus dy this into this. T whenever minus is given, you put on bracket. So easy to understand. Okay. Hello. Now, whenever minus sign is given, you put in bracket. Now, this part is done. Now, this is Amn. So, Am plus Bn. A what is? 2. M. M what is? Minus 1. Plus B. B what is? 5. And what is N? 2. Dot you have to give for multiplication sign. Now, C into M. C is 1 into minus 1. And D is what is? 3. 3 into 2. So you have to do carefully this one. A x plus b y. C x plus d y. Formula I have to remember. That we do. Yes. A m plus b n. C m plus d n. Okay. In this we have to remember. The line I have written third part. That just to remember this. Easily you can do. Now we have to solve this. 2 1 2. Here minus 15. Then what is 1 minus 9. Here what is coming? Minus 2 plus 10. Minus 1 plus 6. 2 minus 15. 
1 minus 9, you are coming minus 2 plus 10, minus 1 plus 6. Now what is coming here? You are coming minus 13, minus 8. You are coming 8 and 5. I got the value of AB. Then what to find? You have to find BA also. So I have to rub this. This I will keep. But I have to rub this to find the value of BA. Okay children. Now I have to rub this. Here I can change only this one. This I have to rub. I am keeping this one. BA. Now see BA. So BA means what? B first. A that side. 2, 5, 1 and 3. Now I have to multiply. Here B, here A. Now this is A, this is B. This is C, this is D. This is X, Y, M, N. Now change it is. Now multiply A, X means 1 dot 2 plus minus 1 dot 1. A, X, B, Y. Then again C, X minus 3 into 2. Minus 3 into 2. Minus 3 into 2 plus 2 into 1. This into this plus this into this. Again, this into this plus this into this. Plus sign should be here. Now, I have to multiply with this. This is A. This is M. A M plus B N. A M plus B N. N means 3. You remember all of you or not? This is AB, this is CD, XY, MN. I do it on formula like that. From there you have to see and do. So easily we can do without mistake. Now see, minus 3 into 5. Minus 3 into 5 plus 2 into 3. Okay. Now you have to solve this. What is coming? Here are coming 2 minus 1 minus 6 plus 2. Here what is coming? 5 minus 3 minus 15 plus 6. Okay, children. Now, what is coming from here? I, here I am writing 2 minus 1, 1. Here coming minus 4. And here 5 minus 3, 2. It will come minus 9. Now, see, these two are same. These two are not same. Already explained. So, AB got BA, I have got it. Then I can say no. AB not equal to BA. Okay, children, it will come equal. Where it will come equal? If these two values are same. Let like it is 2, 5, 1, 3. This is also 2, 5, 1, 3. That time, A, B multiply, B, A multiply, same thing will come. But when these two are different, A, B not equal to B, A. So, this is the basic sum, not a board question, but this sum you should clear very well. So, easily we can do the difficult sum. So, please practice this particular sum 2, 3 times. If you don't understand, two, three times see the videos and then you have to practice in your exercise copy. Okay, children, and you are not giving any comment to me. Only I am teaching you. So please create the video. Let all the children should get benefited. I want all of your friends can understand this sum. Any doubt, please say, tell me. Okay, children, goodbye.